action. Kanye West is a real life superhero. He has faced every adversity the black community says is a problem. A single mother, he beat that. Not having a father in his life, he beat that. He went over all hurdles and because of his imagination, his determination, he was able to go from the pink polo to what we know as a billionaire today. But for some reason, we don't notice Kanye as an American superhero. He doesn't have there's nothing about Kanye West that's exceptional. He's not exceptional physically. He's he's really not that talented uh, intellectually, but his imagination and his courage to go after his own dreams sets him apart. And so my question to the black community is, why don't you have the courage and the imagination to change your living situation? You got to want it. Bro, and, that, and niggas don't want it. We want someone to give it to us. And that's the problem. You got to want it. Like, like, even though I talk about, I can talk from the historical context of what the issues are, but at the end of the day, there's something that we can't change is the individual. Like, you've got to want it no matter what. I mean, we've had stories of uh, different moments in history where other people have been oppressed. Look, they have. Not, that, that's, we just got to, black people, now we going to say our shit. We got to understand that. There's historical context here. There's been people that have been oppressed and sometimes even l lengthier years. Life is a results-based business. I need to understand this. Life is a results-based business. And if you're not getting the results that you want, then you might need to re-examine your life and have, hey, go through the scientific method, man. Uh, you have a hypothesis, a procedure, results. You analyze the results and then you come back and you start from scratch. You keep on going until you get to where you want to be. And for some reason, the black American refuses to get to the place where they have enough economic power and enough political power where they can have leverage. All right, man, I'm going to just go ahead and say this, too. As a whole, we do not respond well to true masculinity. Like to a man saying, this is what I believe. This is what I'm going to stand on. This is how I'm going to roll. I can think outside the box, which which is all the things that Kanye West really represents. We have an issue with that because collectively we have a matriarchal response. We have a very feminine response. Oh, what are you, what are you doing? Uh, 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 uh. We start crying and and really turning into bitches ourselves. And you know what's so beautiful? Everything you're saying, Kanye West said it. He said that. He said me having my mom in my life. I had female I had female mannerisms. I would I would put my hand on my hip. I would talk swing in my neck. Because my mama raised me. Right. But he got enough exposure to where he understood this is not this is not beneficial to me. Black America refuses to see the results they've gotten and said, hey, this ain't getting us to where we want to be. Let's change our strategy and let's go get the thing that we want. In order for us to have a remedy, it's not going to taste good. It's not going to feel good. There is no feel good solution here. Like, he is the canary in the coal mine. I have said this. He is the person alerting us to where the toxic gas is. And we have some of the, we are a part of the toxicity. So until we wake up and until we really say, okay, hey, we're going to face truth and get out of our feelings, this shit ain't going to never change. Drew, you're a content creator. And creating content is one of the most hardest occupations on the planet. Because yes. I, I have to keep you entertained. Always. This is work. work. It takes me six hours of production to bring you this type of quality. All right? My setup is $5,000. This ain't no light investment. No. And my, every, for black males in America. If you want to tell a better story, own your platform. And then when you own your platform, own your identity. There is no black ideology that holds me hostage. I am a free person. I don't give a fuck what you think about me. I'm finna go get it. And then when you see me get it, you're going to tell me, I'm an Uncle Tom. I'm a sellout. No, nigga. I'm a hardworking person who made a decision to change my stars. I wanted to have a better universe. And so I created that shit. Imagine that a nigga saying that he can create his own universe. You create your own reality by your own thoughts. And for me to say that out loud, you think I'm some type of motherfucking bootlick nigga. No, motherfucker. I'm a for real freedom fighter. OK, this right here. This is what a revolutionary looks like in 2022. I don't give a shit about no money. I care about people. I will not fumble my people. Being a man ain't easy. It ain't easy. Heavy is the head that what wears the crown. So if you really want to be a king of this man shit, you really want to be a man shit, you gotta stand on your own ten. If you don't think it's right, speak out it. Hey, I don't I don't fucking think that's right. I don't like that. I don't I don't agree with that. As a man, you have to do that. You have to go with what you truly feel and, and what you truly believe in. That's not easy. My ex wife, she had the audacity to have a conversation with me. She said, You don't know what childbirth does to a woman's body. 
I said, baby, that's nine months. For 10 years, I clocked in doing manual labor, hard ass physical manual labor. Nigga, I got arthritis. I got back problems. Motherfucker, I dedicate my life to supporting my family mm -hmm. and my community and this nation. And so when men are giving 30 years of themselves to this, you don't appreciate that. You think that your man giving birth to babies is a blessing. It's so amazing. Watching my ex-wife have my three sons is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. To create life from scratch is amazing. And now for every black person in America to take your imagination and take your thoughts and to create a product. That is beautiful. That is the birth of ideology. And I'm telling you, man, birth better ideology, huh? Do you think Kanye in any way, like when you talk to black people, they say, you know, like, okay, I ain't gonna lie. In my group chat, in my brother's talking shit group chat, which these are my bros. Brothers talking shit like that. Yeah, because that was the first podcast I was on. I love these dudes, man. We have a history. Um, some of these guys I was in the Navy with on the Ike. We was like, we go damn near 20 years back. Men need to love men. Hello. I, 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 hey, and, and, and don't be perverted because the nation is perverted. <laughs> you need to understand what he's saying. No, we need to have camaraderie for sure. We need to have, we, you, you need to have men who love you, truly love you. Do not put your penis in another man's No. That's not what I'm saying. Do not put your penis in another man's anus. <laughs> we not okay? doing that over here, nigga. We stay heterosexual. <laughs> we stay heterosexual, you know what I'm saying? I and mean, we promote that shit over here. Hey, and you know what? We could be, that's another thing. We can't even, we can't even be just draw a line in the sand, sand as men, but we're, we're drawing that line in the sand here. But what I'm saying is you do need men who love you and can tell you the truth. But in this, and we have that, we we have like great camaraderie here, but we're definitely divided on the Kanye issue. Like this Kanye West issue has divided people wholeheartedly. Oh man. Okay. Let me, let, let me, let me turn that Money's off. calling. Yeah. <laughs> That's business, baby. We're conducting business at a high level. Okay. And when you have to go get it, I understand. Like there's no timeouts when it comes to doing the work. There is no taking timeouts when it comes to being Never. a man. Okay. Like. For some reason, we're so afraid of accountability. Accountability is like a, 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 a fucking a, a, the plague when it comes to black people. Do not hold me accountable for my thoughts. Don't hold me accountable for my actions. Slavery happened. Jim Crow happened. And I'm a victim. And I don't have to do no work because I have excuses. Fuck your excuses. Well, I, I do agree with that. At the same time, I just don't think we got no guidance. And that's because we ain't got no real men. Hey, let's let's talk about this. Cause cause you said something in the pre-production when we was talking, we was like, we're gonna talk about black people. So let's let's get on the shit that we fucking up on. Why we rock. can't can we progress on? One thing that's fucked up with us as black people is it starts with the man. It starts with the motherfucking man. Uh, I think we have raised a bunch of fucking weak, sorry ass men. And women, I know y'all want to run away from this. I know y'all don't want to have y'all part of y'all accountability with this. But you got accountability here because guess what? Many of these men came from single parent homes. They they act like bitches. They 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 you know what I'm saying? They they deal with situations like bitches, and that's a big fucking problem to me with our men. I think in order to really change our community, you're going to have to get the men to fucking man up and be okay. real men. Like for real, for real. Like I like the way that sounds. Being a real man, listen here. Being able to articulate your ideas and execute those ideas is a trait of masculinity. All right? Being able to have a thought and bring that thought to fruition is an is is a is a trait of masculinity. But we think shoot them up bang bang nigga I'm a gangster, baby. We think that's manhood. Like, we have, again, I talk about the nation being perverse. We have a perverted idea of what masculinity is. We look towards the pimps, the gangsters, and all the negative shit as to what manhood is. And that's really the fucked up part about us. Like, when we think about true masculinity in, in the black community, we think about the gangsters. That's why the gang membership. We got, listen, bro. We got niggas 40-something years old arguing mm -hmm. over about gang activity. I am 37. I have children. Um, I have a woman to take care of. I got the mother of my children. I got to take care of her. I got to take care of a family. And like you said, I got to put my life on the line every day. Hey, listen. 
every day, no matter what's going on, I got to at least make a hundred bucks. I don't give a fuck what's happening. Duty and responsibility. Come on, man. You got to do it. So it's like, as a man, I have to wake up and take care of this family. Do me a favor, pretty please. Go ahead. Let's separate economics from masculinity. If yes. I don't have a dollar, I have a penis and two testicles and some muscles that will punch you in your motherfucking mouth. Well, I've talked about this. Me. I said before we had the modern era of working, a man still must go out and kill and eat. So at his bare necessity, it's his physical body. So listen, let's say he's not working. If there's a man willing to be in the house with you and them kids, and let's say you working, he still plays a role. We have to, we see, look. The black community needs a revolutionary idea when it comes to how we function as a family because it's changed and it's going to start with the man leading and our woman listening. That's why I talk about, remember you asked me, he's like, why did I, why I say I don't fuck with interracial relationships? Because I feel like the black man and the black woman need solidarity. They need healing because that's where we really start. That's where we come from. I love black women. I think they're so amazing. But for some reason, when they look in the mirror, they don't love themselves. Get mad at me. If you wear a weave, I don't want you. If you got fake eyelashes, I don't want you. If you got a bunch of makeup on your face, I don't want you. And that doesn't have any race attached to it. If you want to date me as a woman, I need you to have a good relationship with your biological father. Because if you don't respect the man that made you, it's impossible for you to respect me. All right, me. so let me throw this at you. Let me yes. throw this at you. What happens when you don't have a woman that's had that? Like, what happens when you have... See, look. I'm going to be honest I'm with you. A, I'm a, I can answer that Ooh, I like uh, immediately. I like you know what happens when I have a woman who doesn't have a man in her life? What? I got a teacher. I start getting stressed out and depressed and anxious because everything, I have to explain it to her. I, man, can you imagine being on the job? And you know how to do your job. But every time I got to stop and say, hey, this is how you do this. Hey, this is how you do that. And then you got to deal with the attitude of a person who's been rebellious and say, well, I, I don't know how to do that. I've never done that before. That's why I needed to be coachable. See, look, I'm going to tell you something. Our women need to be coachable. And we need to be willing. We, 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 we need to be willing to teach them. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to get to the root of this shit right now, okay? If you're not a dope-ass, fly-ass, masculine-ass person with the ambition to go and do something great, don't nobody want to fuck with you. That's true. Point blank and period. That's true. Nick, I don't That's make no true. $100 a day. Nick, I might make $300 a week, all right? But every person who comes in contact with me, they respect me. You know why? I believe in myself and I have boundaries. You ain't finna come over here and treat me any kind of way, motherfucker. What the hell? That's true. That's true. Like, as a man, you have to have standards. Like, you have to, ha you have, to have a vision. You have to have a vision. If you have a, if you have a voice, like, look, bro, look at your channel. I watch your channel. I watch what you say. Everybody's, everybody's coming to your channel. Everybody, the, the greatest American alive, everybody's here tuned in because you have a message. You have a vision. We can follow that. As a man in your home, you got to be Jesus, nigga. You got to be God. You got to be out there performing miracles in some way. Even if you just have the message of inspiration, as a man, you got to be doing it because these women are lost. Listen, I don't expect no woman to come to me not lost. She lost. She lost. I ain't never met a woman that ain't need to be found, nigga. Man, hey, you know what? Most men will not understand this, okay? I live my life based on one principle and one principle alone. How can I be of service? Drew, how can I help you? I asked my ex-wife, how can I help you? I asked my baby, how can I help you? I asked my children, how can I help you? What can I do to improve the quality of your life? And then when they tell me, guess what the fuck I do? I listen. And then after I listen, I, I take their ideas and I make them come to fruition. And then when a person sees their ideas come to life, they say, oh, my God. They look at me like I'm fucking God because I took nothing and turned that whole into actual manifest. Yeah, that, that's why men are important. We got to we got to really like men in our community. They taking selfies like the bitch. They taking selfies like her. They fucking dressing up like her. They want to pop bottles like her. We really, we putting on fancy, shiny belts like them. We don't, we're, we're not, we're not up here really handling business. And like, bro, I see you with your kids. I see you taking care of your kids. I see you being a, an example for your sons. Talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we got to make that shit cool. <laughs> like, that's, the, that's, so, so listen, look. Okay. I, I'm going to tell you something else Kanye doing for us. We missed this He's shit. He's a superhero. He's battling even as a rich man. He's battling custody issues with his baby mama for his children. 
and represent and at being the represented highest the level at the highest level is still an issue. Chris Rock has spoke on this and everything. He's so a listen, billionaire. On, he doesn't have custody of his own children. He, come on. And so if we, man, hold on, listen here. We value money so much. We value fame and clout so much, but we don't value family. If you want to have anything powerful in America, if you if, if you're a, if you're a Bible reader, yes. You go back, you read Abraham, and he had his family and his two sons. He built something from nothing with his woman. This is the foundation of humanity. A man does masculine things. He goes and builds something, and when he builds it, the woman says, oh, my God, you built that? And then she gives him cat. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's how it goes. Like that, Shit, man. man. That cat, cat is the incentive for provision. Like you providing for her and she bring whatever you put in her, you get back. So you put a seed in her, she gives you a legacy. She helps you build a legacy. And you over that. You're 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 have you have you're presiding over that. We gotta understand that as men. I'm I'm fighting real life battles, okay? My 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 girlfriend, my woman, she money's calling. <laughs> Here, dog. I'm, I'm fucking up right now. Money is caught. Man, you you doing what? Hey, you handling me, business? Me, yeah, yeah, man. Let me, let me, let me. Hey, let me put that on. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go back to the. Uh, I'm just gonna have the motherfucking camera right here. But yeah, man. Like, um, you gotta touch that. Though. Oh, oh shit! What I gotta? What? Okay. No, I, just, I, just want, I want, I want, I want that shit. To, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want it to be. You yeah. can, we can swing it back. Whatever. Vo- it is, vo- you know vocals what can be yeah, all yeah. up in there, but. Um, nah, man, I cut you off because we had the damn <laughs> phone going off. But nah, man, hey, masculinity matters. Somehow, some way, we lost the idea of being exceptional. And whatever it is that you're doing, do a good job at it. If you're being, if you're a stay at home dad, man, when your wife is getting ready to go to work, iron her shirt. All right. Pack her lunch for her. Okay. Man, if you look at the time and she has an hour before she goes to work, Beat that coochie up for 32 minutes and then fucking kiss her on the forehead and give her her lunch and say, baby, if you need anything else, just call me. Do you know how endearing that is to care? If you really want to show someone how much you care about them, be of action, be of service. <gasps> oh, my God. Be of service, man. Like, I, I've, I've talked about this, too, even in, like, working in music, like, um, as a studio engineer. I made money because I was of service. Not only just like making sure the music came out good, but what else can I help you with? A lot of these cats didn't even understand how to distribute their music or just whatever it might be. Like serving is how you get the provision. You got to serve. I think God is about service. I've heard Charleston White say, hey, he got a message. He got purpose. And the provision going to follow that. He not trying to, he not doing that shit to make money. It's coming because he's telling the truth. And I think we got to be more uh, truth tellers. There it is. Bang we got to be more truth tellers. We got to tell the truth. We got to be acceptable to the truth. Hey, here's the crazy part. Let's get wild. Donald Trump was banned from Twitter, but oh. not porn. Oh, holy Christ. You can literally go on there and watch. I'm talking about nasty, vicious porn. You can this watch. is the disconnect in America. They banned the president of the free world from social media, and we all clapped. We all said, yay. And so if you could ban a white man, number one, a very wealthy man, number two, and the president of the free world, the most powerful person in existence, you could tell him he can't talk. And then all of a sudden, when it comes to Kanye West, we say, he fumbled the bag. He's not doing what he's supposed to do. They're doing this shit to everybody. And if men don't stand up and say, nah, you ain't finna, bitch, I'm finna talk. What's up? If you don't want to hear me, fight me for it. Let's do it. There is a purpose for violence. The American government goes to war continuously because you have to fight for what you believe. And the American man refuses to fight for what they believe because they think they're some type of bitch ass nigga and someone's supposed to give them something. No one's going to give you anything. You create value. And when you create value, you leverage that value. This is power. This is economics. This is politics. This is humanity. And you stupid motherfuckers refuse to accept <laughs> humanity. I mean, it's true. You know, we, we're we're definitely we're not a well informed group of people, though, for sure. Like we we're and we're definitely controlled by entertainment. Like 
we're, 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 we are controlled so much by entertainment is ridiculous, and we don't even understand that we're the greatest export of that entertainment, which is what he was talking about when he talked about the record labels owning our demise. Like, look, check this out, man. I ch I follow this cat named King AK47 on YouTube. I bang, watch bang, him. bang. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Talk of, yeah, he's the voice of the streets, man. <laughs> but, like, he's, even through his, like, even through his commentary of, like, rap music and hip hop like Lil Durk situation and King Von situation his eyes are opening up to how like how fraudulent and fake things are man like King Von would have been indicted if he was alive on some other murders that can get, happened can I get excited I want to get so excited get excited hey uh, Henry Ford Henry Ford was 40 years old when he became Henry Ford, okay? Henry Ford had a sixth grade education, okay? We have the creativity, the imagination, the determination to make this shit happen. There is not a black man in America that owns a fucking motor company. No. You driving a Lexus, white power. You driving a Benz, white power. You driving a Lincoln, white power, and have the audacity to come in and attack a person who's competing at the highest level. Kanye West is a visionary, and he's e executing. He is showing you what's possible. But instead of you having the imagination to appreciate what he did, you say, they put a knee on George Floyd. Oh, poor George. Oh, poor George. How the fuck do you identify with a poor nigga standing outside of a store more than you identify with a person who's being excellent? Which is why he's what the fucking white lives matter shit. Like, yo, at the end of the day, we don't even understand. We support white lives matter more than anything. This nigga wore a white lives matter shirt to troll you. You're so focused on white people that you don't even love yourself, you silly ass person. And the moment that you understand that your life matters, it doesn't matter what I say. I don't care what you say about me. Bitch, women love me. My kids love me. My niggas love me. And so if you tell me, I don't like you, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> I'm a free living, breathing entity, nigga. <laughs> nah, like, 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 like straight up, dog. Like, you know, at the end of the day, man, I think this Kanye West shit, I'm glad it happened. I'm glad, I'm glad those that can see it can see it. And if you don't, man, you just lost as fuck. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.